Welcome back to Squawk Box. I'm Phil LeBeau live at the General Motors headquarters in Detroit, Michigan, where I'm joined by the CFO of GM, Dan Abin, on a day where you uh, report fourth quarter earnings of 39 cents a share, a penny or two below estimates, revenue roughly in line, maybe a smidge lower than expected. Summarize what you thought the fourth quarter says about where GM is right now in its recovery. Well, I think the best way to look at it is to look at the full year. Uh, it's been a year of really good progress. Uh, overall, for the whole year, we've grown the top line of the business, uh, we've grown share around the world, uh, we've grown profit, uh, and we've grown margins. So really good progress overall, but we've still got a lot more work to do in the business. We've got more work to do uh, in Europe, uh, we've got more work to do in South America, frankly, more work to do all across the company to get to the efficiency that we want. Let's talk about Europe. A loss in the fourth quarter of $600 million. People are looking at these numbers and they're saying, when do you make some substantial changes, either cutting capacity, closing plants, cutting jobs, full major commitments. I know you're already in a restructuring there, but when do you do more? Well, let's look at let's look at the progress that's been made. Uh, we've been in a restructuring plan uh, over the last two years, and that plan was built around a stabilizing European economy. Uh, that restructuring plan delivered significant improvement in results, 2011 over 2010, over a billion dollar improvement in profitability, 10 to 11. So good progress there, but clearly that restructuring plan is not going far enough relative to the environment that we're in today. So we're making a number of changes in the business, making sure that we're really getting after a sustainable level of profitability. Is there a hard and fast deadline where you say by the middle of this year we would like to have some capacity cut plans in place. The deadline is now. We're working on this aggressively. You've seen that we've put in a number of senior managers into Europe, made a number of changes in the team over there. We're in discussions with our unions and other stakeholders about ways to get this business back to profitability. The pension freeze that you announced yesterday where you were transitioning 19,000 over to a 401k, how much does that help you in terms of stabilizing a pension that's been underfunded for some time um, by $22 billion, and I think it increased in the fourth quarter, if I'm not mistaken. So, so how much does that help the bottom line? It's just one of many steps that we've been taking. We've been very clear uh, over the last couple of years about our objective of fully funding and de-risking our pension plans over time. We made a good, a good amount of progress in the, uh, in the summer of this year around the UAW contract, managing things there. This is one more step along the way. Uh, we had very strong asset performance in the pension plan over the course of this year, north of 11% return, which has really helped us a right. lot. So it, we're, we're taking a lot of steps, more to come. Quickly, we want to talk about profit margins. 2.9% for the fourth quarter, 5.5% for the full year. That's an improvement over last year, but you're nowhere close to the 9-10% the that you would like to achieve to be competitive with the Hyundais of the world. And that's why I talk about there's still a lot more work to do here. We've made good progress this year, but we're just beginning to see some of the benefits and impacts of a lot of the actions that we're taking. And this is a long-term game. Uh, we have a lot of actions that will help us in the near term. We have a lot of actions where the, they won't really bear fruit until we get further out in the next few years out. Dan Ammon, the... CFO of General Motors on a day, guys, where they uh, they missed the street reporting 39 cents a share versus the estimate of 41. But it was, we should point out, the most profitable year ever for General Motors, making $7.6 billion. Back to you. All right, Phil, thank you very much. We appreciate it.